Hello, and welcome to CMMI Tech Talk. In this video, we will look at the Strategic Service Management, STSM, practice area, one of four practice areas in the services domain. We will discuss the intent of this practice area and look at what value it can provide to an organization and at the individual practices to see how they can be used to manage and maintain standard services aligned to our strategic business needs. STSM falls within the Delivering and Managing Services capability area in the Doing category. We will start our tour by looking at the key mandatory model components, the high-level intent and value statements. Intent develops and deploys standard services compatible with the strategic business needs and plans. Value increases the likelihood of meeting business objectives by aligning standard services with customer needs. The emphasis in this practice area is on the standardization of services we offer our customers and ensuring that these are properly aligned with our business objectives. Bespoke or custom-made services are costly to establish, deliver, and maintain, and there is always the possibility that they may divert organizations away from their core business objectives. Looking for commonality across all the organization's service offerings and then standardizing them as far as possible enables the organization to operate in a more cost-effective manner and improve their delivery by gaining better insight into how well their service delivery activities are performing. As with all practices in CMMI, there is an expectation that these will be applied continuously. An organization's standard service offerings will change and evolve along with their business objectives and therefore, as their customers' needs change, they need to continuously reassess how well aligned their standard services are with their objectives and those of their customers. The practices of STSM are split across three practice group levels and demonstrate the usual evolutionary progression towards increasing capability. A single level one practice looks for a simple list of the current services offered by the organization. At level two, this list of services is more robust and evolves into a more detailed description of service offerings. But at this level, organizations start to consider strategic needs and capabilities and how they might drive the services being offered and then establish a more planned and managed approach to how these services will be provided. Then, at level three, organizations establish organizational standard services that are aligned to their business needs. Now, let us look at the individual practices within the STSM practice area. For a service delivery organization to be successful, it needs to be able to offer services that its target customers want to buy and use. The first step to ensuring this is to clearly identify a list of what services are on offer. This is the essence behind STSM 1.1. By establishing a list of the services that organizations offer, they can work with potential customers to understand how those services align with their customers' needs and expectations. If there is a good alignment between the two, then they will be well-placed to assist their customers. If there is a gap between their customers' needs and expectations and their current service offerings, then an organization may need to consider expanding the range of services they offer. STSM 2.1 refines the level one practice by establishing more detailed descriptions of the organization's services. How much detail they provide depends upon the context of the business, but typically it would include more detail on the scope of the service being delivered, pricing options, delivery methods, and any other factors that might be needed or helpful in selling the service to newer existing customers. Collectively, these service descriptions are usually aggregated into what is called a service catalog, which is accessible to users and potential customers. The more detailed the service description, the less variability there is likely to be in the service delivery, so this helps us provide a more consistent, predictable outcome. STSM 2.2 establishes a more forward-thinking, strategic approach to service delivery. It looks for organizations to collect, record, and analyze data about strategic needs and capabilities for service delivery. 
Their strategic needs will include establishing an understanding of what services their existing and future customers require, which of their service offerings are likely to become obsolete, and what the organization would need to offer to attract new customers and move into new target market areas. The data that would feed this analysis can come from many different sources, such as market research, customer feedback, service reviews, and performance data, but underpinning all this are the business objectives and goals for the organization. The analysis of this data can be a critical factor in the business's future success. If an organization has a specific objective to grow a certain area of its business, but the services it currently offers are more related to an older, well-established, but gradually receding line of business, then at some point a difficult strategic decision will need to be made to shift the emphasis from their original core offerings to a new set of service offerings that is better aligned with the direction of the market the organization serves. As well as capturing the data needed to make strategic decisions about what services are needed, a more planned and managed approach to how these services will be provided is needed. STSM 2.3 looks for organizations to establish, update, and follow such an approach to ensure that new or changed service offerings are continuously aligned with the strategic needs and capabilities of the business. This approach needs to factor in the needs of the customer, end users, and other stakeholders and implement action plans to balance the needed capabilities against the available resources. As you would expect at level three, the focus for STSM becomes much more about standardizing our service offerings at an organizational level. Customers like flexible services tailored to their specific needs, but there are usually substantial cost and resource implications if this type of bespoke approach is adopted for every customer and it quickly becomes unsustainable as our customer base grows. For this reason, it makes a lot of economic and practical sense for an organization to standardize its service offerings. By standardizing their services and making sure they align with the business's strategic objectives, we can reduce costs, improve flexibility, and ensure that resources are applied to the areas that will best help the organization achieve its business objectives. To summarize the main points, STSM covers establishing and operating service systems, putting in place maintaining and standardizing service agreements, putting in place a service request mechanism, recording service delivery data and using it to inform new or modified service agreements, standardizing service delivery approaches to improve scalability and reduce costs. Thank you for joining us for this CMMI Tech Talk. If you have questions, please contact us at support.isaka.org.